It's only natural for parents to be anxious or worried um, allowing their child to board. Um, I think the key thing is to communicate with the care staff and give them a plan of how your routine works at home and see if they can fit in with that at school. I mean, there's beautiful grounds here. They've got activities after school, they've got outdoor equipment, the bikes and scooters are often out. They're very busy. I don't think they have time to miss home. Teddy was quite a poorly little boy also. He had um, severe chronic lung disease, so to allow someone else to look after my child throughout the night, the you know, coughing episode was difficult. However, care staff were absolutely fantastic, would ring if there was any problems. And I, obviously it was a bit of a pain. I used to call him a few times a night, just, just checking on him. So yeah, it was a very tough decision, but he's done well, he's done very well. There's so much going on at Mary Hare, more than I can offer him at home after school clubs, etc. I think we have youth clubs here, we have arts and crafts, cheerleading, football. It's got access to a wide variety of outside activities, which he thoroughly enjoys. Um, no, I don't think he's missing out at all, but if there are special birthdays, we do pick him up and bring him home. So make him part, you know, he's not missing out. I'm, I'm very happy he's been here now five years. He started at four rising five, so... So yeah, he's done really well and he's always happy to come to Scott. I don't even get wave goodbye anymore, so that's a good sign. <laughs>